right, love and light, Gemini, this is going to be your weekly love reading. I feel like somebody ran back to a third party. I do. I feel like there's a runner chaser dynamic here. There's somebody here who was listening to their ego. They were in their pride. They had a fear of intimacy. And they, or the, or youth, or, okay. And they ran back to a karmic. That's for some of you guys. For others of you all, I'm seeing the energy here of there's someone here who in the past listen to their pride, listen to their, their ego and had a fear of intimacy and ran away from you and this person's like addicted to your energy. There was like an empath, a narcissist. This person could have gaslighted you. They were known for like, you may have had to set boundaries with this person. They may have even used you or something like that. There was an imbalance in the connection. So you had to set boundaries with them. Yeah, this person's thinking about you. Okay, this is like the Six of Cups energy with the photograph. They miss you. <laughs> this person still thinking thinks about you. They're looking at your photos, looking at old text messages. Yeah. Let's see. That's yeah. You're definitely separated from this person. I feel like you've changed since um, you and this person have not been together. This person is so sad. They think they, they're they yearning for you and they miss you. But the thing is, you've changed. Even if this person is coming back towards you, which I feel like they are running back towards you, collective, you've already changed. You might not even be the same person. I'm pretty sure you're not the same person anymore with this dragonfly energy. Mm -mm. Oh, for some of y'all, this is your twin. I just turned that over. For some of y'all, it could very well be possible that this twin flame that ran away from you has changed during the separation and they really miss you. Give me one more for this twin flame energy, please. One, one for the twin flame energy. Yeah, I feel like you don't love this person anymore. Heart with the key just came out in reverse. I, I feel like this person still loves you, but you don't love them anymore. I feel like you're not going to welcome this person if they come back towards you. you. This person wants to get back with you, but you don't. You're not. You're not into this. <laughs> so let's see for the person's energy that misses you. Show me the person that misses the, the collective. Show me their energy and how they're feeling about my collective. We're going to use the Awaken Tarot. How are they feeling about my collective? Ooh. Oh. Okay. <sighs> All right. We got the Five of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. I feel like this person either is afraid that, that there's going to be an argument or something's going to pop off. Honestly, this person is missing you so much. They're in so much regret. They're in so much remorse for playing mind games with you. And for some of y'all, this person was extremely manipulative, especially with this runner energy and this narcissistic, uh, empathic. I feel like this is like, say your queen of cups is like the empath energy, right? Let's just say, I mean, you could be divine masculine. You don't have to be divine feminine, but it's giving the queen of cups energy. Somebody took advantage of the queen of cups. This person is totally like, five of swords five of cups this person's in like regret over something that they may have said to you here i feel like this person's words they may want to talk and rush in because they're in this energy you know we got air energy here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. Show, show me this person's energy, please. Nine of Cups. They're coming in to talk to you because they know that you were a wish fulfillment here with this Nine of Cups. This person still misses you. Hmm. What else here? The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You do not want to work on this. You don't want to work on this at all. I feel like, show me more here before I say anything else. 
Yeah, Ten of Swords. You don't... I don't know what this person did. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. There was like definitely like somebody stabbed you in the back or, you know... You definitely had to set some boundaries with this person. It was a painful ending. Ten of Swords. They betrayed you. When you needed this person, they weren't there for you. I, and they know that. They know that. For some of you all, this person refused to change. So either now they're coming back towards you in this changed energy. Or that could just be you when this person comes back. You're like, I don't want to. I've changed. I'm not even the same person anymore. I've set boundaries with you. We're not even on the same frequency anymore. But I feel like this person wants to rush in back towards you and make and try to make it work. Mm. Hold on, y'all. These cards just fell out. How does the collective feel about this person? You feel like they have more than one person. Yeah, you do. You feel like this person, you know, eight of, eight, ace of wands on the bottom of the deck, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You feel like this person juggled you. you for some of y'all, this person ran back and went toward, toward somebody else. Eight of swords, queen of wands, queen of pentacles, two of pentacles. You feel like this person juggled you. And it really had you in your head, too. Like, this is why you were in this ten of swords energy. This is why you feel like this person betrayed you. You know, this person had you in too much mental chaos because, you know, remember on their side, this five of swords came out. They manipulated and played a lot of games and you know they did. And this person knows that you know that you're, you know, definitely juggled energy, juggled two people. For some of y'all, they juggled. There's an, an air, not, I don't know why I said air sign. There's a fire sign here. Could have been juggled with a earth sign. But it doesn't have to be. But yeah, there was definitely. So what's the truth here? Show me the hidden truth here. Yeah, that Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Somebody wanted their cake and eat it too. They could have went back to this third party, this karma, and had a new passion and beginning with somebody else. And that didn't work out so well. Yeah, it didn't work out. Look at this shit. Somebody may have gone to jail. Somebody may have gone to jail here. Look at this destroyed, shattered, broken, and with the police energy. So, uh oh, sorry. So, did somebody go to jail? Was there some drama? It looks like there was some drama, you guys. Looks like the situation didn't work over there. Huh. What's the hidden truth? Yeah. Definitely somebody asked went to jail or there was a fight or somebody in the back of the police car. I'm telling you, there is some drama. Something is popping off up in flames. The situation is about to explode. Trash, throwing away, getting rid of, somebody tossed out. Somebody could have been put, put out. The police could have been called. Somebody came home or went somewhere and somebody's stuff was thrown out. I don't know who this is for. Somebody could have actually set something on fire. I don't, maybe somebody was that mad. A poor bleach on them destroy somebody's property. Somebody's property got destroyed. Because something was revealed here. Somebody may have had a recording or some receipts or some evidence or something. Yeah, I feel like strongly there were some receipts or something here. Did somebody go somewhere or go out on a date? Hmm, I'm going to get more information because I'm getting from this movie date, this ticket in the recording announcement, revealing an expression. I'm getting energy of like somebody went somewhere, got did something, got, they got caught or saw something that led them to the information about what this person was doing. And then somebody like there was a there was some drama. What show me more about this movie date and recording, please. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Somebody. Ooh. Hold on, y'all. Yeah. I told you evidence of cheating. Can't make this shit up. Evidence of cheating. Somebody may have gotten an STD, y'all. Look at this. Sick. So this third party could have given them an STD. Somebody gave them one. 
and now they want to come back to you uh, uh, don't don't sleep with this person this person got played manipulated this person was being either this person got played by this third party that they left you for <laughs> that's what they ask you I, I, I feel like somebody is about to learn a very, very, very valuable lesson today. You're going to learn today. Okay. I, it's unfortunate. It's so unfortunate, honey. I'm telling you. And, and it's some gossip going on around it. Or this person might want to come back towards you and vent and talk about their issues. For some of y'all, this person might even be expecting, expecting a, a child or a baby or something here. Definitely something went down. I'm telling you. Definitely something went down here, but I feel like you're not going to want to hear it. When this person comes back towards you, you may not even answer the phone or answer a phone call. Show me more about this situation, please. Yeah. <laughs> Taking a break from everyone and spending time alone. I feel like that's you. I feel like that's you. Or that's how this... Or that's how this person feels. So this person now is like that went through all this drama over here. And now this person is like dropping this other person. And they're like, fuck this. I just, they realize and they just got played. Now they're single and they're separating themselves from whoever this is. That could be the case too. Now it's like all of a sudden this person is realizing who you are and, and this person used to be confused or they allowed themselves to be manipulated by this karmic. Now they're realizing like who they could really trust. De damn sure it wasn't this karmic. Um, now for some of y'all, that's what this person's going through with the other person and they got a third party. Flip and switch it. Yeah. Somebody played games. Somebody definitely played mind games. I'm telling you, yeah, you let this person go or they're about to let this third party go. And there's some energy here, too. Somebody here is um, gossiping online or on social media or something like that, too. Hmm. Somebody might be putting their business out in the streets. I don't know. Ooh, whoever this person is, they think they're real smart. Either this karmic is dumb as hell, and I don't mean to be funny, but I'm just telling you what I see here, low IQ. Somebody think they're smarter than who they are. But see, somebody thought they were so smart, and I feel like they either A, got caught, or they, they thought they were going to get away with something, and they ass got caught. <laughs> Player, they did. They thought they got caught. They thought they were going to get away with this. Look at this energy. Player. Player and um, always partying. Somebody's about to learn the hard way. Somebody think they smart. <laughs> not and not. Show me more here. I mean, what does this have to do with the collective though? What does this have to do with the collective, please? Because they're thinking about you, reminiscing you and wanting to return here. <laughs> For some of y'all, remember we were saying earlier, I feel like I feel like you're over here focused on yourself while this person's like looking through their phone. You you're just you just changed. You're not the same person anymore. You you don't even want the same things. This person wouldn't even be able to satisfy you. I mean, I'm just saying. And truth be told, like I don't. This person got to deal with this drama. What does this have to do with the collective? This karmic feels threatened by you because they know that you're about, to, their person is about to come bring a love offer to you. We have Venus, an offer, and then we have threatened and embarrassed. Somebody settled for convenience and this is what they got. <laughs> oh, let me write that down. That's going to be the title. Give me one second, because I'll forget. Okay. All right. So that just know that's what's going on with your person and what's getting ready to happen. Let's pull some cards and see what they want to say to you. Okay. Let me shuffle. What does this person want to say to the collective, for those of you who care to know? Because <laughs> I feel like some of y'all don't care to know. 
What does this person want to say to the collective, please? <laughs> Y'all remember that song? Um, yeah, exactly. You, this person knows you deserve better. This person knows you deserve better. You, I was getting ready to say, you remember that song. I think it's Fabulous and Neo. You make me better. You make me better. That came out. You make me better. Okay. So they know that you were, again, like the empath, the sweet, kind, nice hearted, open, emotionally available person. And the, uh, like the mature person, what you had to give was amazing. Right. Uh, but this person knows they're no good for you and you deserve better. Literally, I'm no good for you came out. Um, you deserve better is on the bottom of the deck. Um, we need time apart. Hello. And you do. Then we have, you are wasting your time. You see what I'm saying? This person is about to be, this relationship is too stressful. <laughs> I feel like what's stressful is whatever the hell they had going on, on, on over there across the, across the bridge. <laughs> With this other person, it's a bunch of drama. Somebody might be getting bailed out of jail. Stop playing games. Oh my gosh, the sex is amazing. They need to grow up. Mm -mm. I don't. Let's see what you have coming in real quick, okay? Because I've had enough of that. What does my collective have coming in? What do they need to be aware of? What are the messages specifically for the collective? What do they have coming in? What do they need to be aware of, please? And thank you. Focus. Spirit wants you to focus on your own, your own, your own. Let me just read this, okay? Because I was getting like your own life, right? And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing anyways, but... <clears throat> this is just spirit confirming you are being asked to shift your focus away from what isn't working and toward what is pay extra attention to where you place your focus is the first step towards creating an amazing life so focus on yourself focus on what is working not the stuff that didn't work in the past not the stuff that you know that's not working i feel like you guys are already doing that you started changing um, how you treat, you know, treat people, deal with people. You set boundaries with this person. Like I said, for those of you, this person that wants to come back and like vent to you about their problems and say, I'm so sorry, blah, blah, blah. Like, I feel like you're just gonna focus on yourself and you're not going to be interested in that. Yeah. See, keep going. Spirit wants you to focus and keep going. Literally. Okay. Keep going. Cause see, you're leveling up. Okay, you're climbing to the top. Okay, I'm just just saying this says it may feel as though you've been on this path or journey for so long and you may even wonder if you're making progress towards your dreams and you are this this is a message. This message is a loving reminder for you to keep going. You're almost there. So collective, stay focused. You're almost there. Do not allow this person to, you know, sidetrack you in, in the bottom of the deck is it's time. Okay. It's time. You're being asked to move forward towards the dream that you've been carrying in your heart. It's time to bring it out into the world. You're ready. It's time. So it's time. You're, I feel like you guys are getting ready to be focused on something else. You're not even going to have the time, energy, or the space for this person to be quite frank. And you're just vibing on a totally different level. <laughs> love it. And I love you. Okay, you guys. You could have been really dealing with anybody here. The Zodiac sign. Every, everybody's here. Um, everybody's here. Okay. So, because we saw Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We saw Cancer. Strong Cancer. Um, but Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then... Yeah, and the Queen of Wands, so Aries, Leo, or Sag, and that Ace of Wands. So, yeah, hit the like button, you guys, or subscribe to the channel. Let me know if this resonates in the comments. And join us on Patreon, too. I did Patreons. They get an extra uh, weekly Oracle message reading, and they get them before y'all do. Their reading was real good today. So, if you want to go check that out, you know, you can preview it. And if it resonates for you, that message was really, really good. It was some good energy over there. But anyway, um, see you guys later. Bye.